Hello, darlings. Let's say you have 24 hours in Iceland. How do you spend it? Running on little sleep, we head to the Blue Lagoon, which is only a 20 minute drive from the Keflavik airport. After powering up on Icelandic dishes comprised of local ingredients, we make our way towards downtown Reykjavik, where we board a spaceship. Just kidding, we sleep at a capsule hostel and enjoy some more Icelandic cuisine. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. We took an overnight flight to Iceland and arrived around 9.30 a.m. After customs and a little snacking, we take a shuttle to the rental car company to pick up our pre-booked vehicle. It is 12 p.m. Feeling a little bit spacey because I didn't sleep very well on the plane and it's my first time driving in Iceland. We're gonna go! Woohoo! Rising clouds in the distance and the GPS is taking us right to it. Later I learned it was a geothermal power plant near our destination. Park the car and hello Blue Lagoon! By the way, there's a luggage storage station near the entrance. 550 ISK per bag per day. We venture forth through a rocky pathway which fills my head with epic soundtracks. Wow, look at this milky blue color. Turns out the water is enriched with silica, algae, and minerals and is a byproduct of the geothermal power plant nearby. The air is a bit chilly, so after you put your towel down, you just want to run to the pool. A lot of people, but still less than I expected. Oh, and they give us these bracelets and you scan it for your locker. And then whatever you buy, just like a Korean sauna, whatever you buy, you just scan it with this and then you pay at the end. But look at those rocks white on the bottom dark gray to very very dark gray and almost nearly to black we are here i can't believe it we are actually here so most of the parts of the water is quite warm but this area right now is chillier and then now it's warm again so all of this is very relaxing it's a little bit of a workout because you're walking and this place is quite big we made it to the mask shack the silica mud pack is included in all entrance fees. There's also an algae mask, mineral mask, and lava scrub. I'm told to leave the silica mud mask on for 10 minutes, then rinse it off in the lagoon. It was so windy that my glasses on the counter slid into the geothermal seawater. The staff warned to rinse it off with regular water ASAP. I feel so slow. I'm trying so hard to go fast. It's a bit of a skill to walk fast in this water. You have to like position your feet in a certain angle so that you get enough friction with the surface because the surface could be slippery. Ooh, there's a bridge here. Okay, now I know I should go wash my glasses, but I don't want to get out of this water. It's going to be a little bit chilly. When I stand up, the water is just below my nipples. The air is windy and chilly, but I must breathe it. Oh man, it's cold. So I clean my glasses, but you know, I thought I did a neat job of putting this uh, mask. <laughs> it looks really messy. <laughs> it's like the milk spilled all over the floor and I'm just the floor. Okay, so this area, if I stand up, it goes right below my knees and it is cold. Whoa, what is this white stuff? There's all this floating white stuff. Oh, do you think that's from the mask? Oh, it, it really dried up. It's salty. Oh, it's very salty. I was thinking that after we stay here for like 30 minutes, it might be enough. But actually, you can stay in here for longer. It's not too hot where you get exhausted really fast. It's kind of heavenly. It's a magical little place. Oh, this area is hot. And then you got cold. We head to the bar, which serves alcohol. But I opt for the fruit and veggie drink made of banana, mango, ginger, spinach, and orange juice. The flavor reminds me of some popsicles I used to have as a kid. It doesn't taste too healthy, actually. So if you're someone who doesn't like vegan food or smoothies or anything like that, you won't even know. <laughs> it's a bit on the thick side, so I feel like I need water to help it go down. Do so you have a trash can here? Oh, oh no! It's like playing basketball. It looks like wood. Oh, look at this texture. It's like art, fine art. I would hang this on my wall. It looks like a chip, potato chip. This goes up at an angle, but I'm, I get lower and lower as I get out because I'm trying to stay in the water. It's chilly. <laughs> this is my method. <laughs> okay, hold well, on, it's cold. I, uh, 
going back in. Maybe this is why people stay in here for a while. After you shower and you put your clothes on, uh, you're not allowed to go back to the uh, lagoon entrance, the one we came out of, to get to the actual pool. But between the cafe and restaurant, you can walk out. We have a glass fence in here. As for eating options, we have a cafe, which is more to-go style. And then across, there is a restaurant. Speaking of food, we take a short intermission to talk about our sponsor. HelloFresh makes cooking meals at home an easy reality, regardless of how good you are in the kitchen. Break out of your recipe rut with a choice of 20 chef-curated seasonal recipes that are delivered to your door each week. Easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. What I like about HelloFresh is it saves time from going to the grocery store, especially on those busy work days. And they provide options for both omnivores and herbivores. It was fun trying new recipes with Mommy O. And you might even learn random things about cooking. I discovered it's possible to make crema by combining sriracha and sour cream. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. Get 8 free meals by going to HelloFresh.com and use my code MISSMINA80 for a total of $80 off your first month. I put the link in the description box. Hope you guys enjoy. Back to Iceland. Let's take a look at the lunch set menu. We have seafood, Icelandic gourmet menu, vegetarian menu as well. We're gonna eat at the Lava Restaurant, which has views of the lagoon. I'm really curious about the birch and juniper cured arctic char. Butter mixed with skir on lava stone. To be enjoyed with four slices of sourdough bread. So soft, I don't even need two hands. It just spreads so easily. Ooh, that minute that butter hits your mouth, it just squeezes out all the moisture in my mouth. It just makes me drool. The outside is a bit on the top side. Inside, it's a little rubbery, very moist. Look at them dance. I think it's an almond on there and a cranberry. Pickled cucumber with mustard seed and charred roe. Looks like bacon bits on melted sour cream. Ah, this must be the birch and juniper cured arctic char. Baked celeriac with spelt and mustard. Mmm, carcinogenic texture. <laughs> That's strong. The exterior is salty. It's like they extracted the saltiness from the lagoon and put it, injected it into the celeriac. I recommend you pair bread with it. Oh, that one's very pleasant. Oh, this is a little tricky to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> if you stuff your mouth with all that butter, the texture is like shaving cream. Super fluffy. Here we have the lamb filet and shoulder of lamb with rutabaga, carrot, spring onion, and mustard demi glace sauce. Oh, the interior is so soft, it feels like my knots are getting kneaded away. It's called the Ashtar Kungar. Symmetrical. Mmm, sugar. That's bready. It's like a sweet corn dog. Let's have it with some ice cream. Mmm. In some bites, it's very crunchy. As if there's like clumps of just plain sugar. Afterwards, we stop by the gift shop up two postcards and two stamps. This is the aerial view of Blue Lagoon and it turns out there's this whole other area we did not know about and we did not explore. We mostly were on here and this one has two people on the corner. All right, wrote postcards and thankfully there is a mailbox on site. Blue Lagoon. I would definitely come back here, especially with Mommy O. Uh, if I were to come back alone, uh, I would go to different places and just, you know, try different experiences. It's very windy, so let's get to the car. Next up, we drive 40 minutes northeast to Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, then sleep at a capsule hostel. I uploaded a video about it last week. Around summer solstice, it does not get dark at night in Reykjavik. You can stay up 24 hours and hang out with the sun and nature, or dip into the nightlife. But I do recommend you get some rest, especially if you're driving. I highly recommend staying longer in Iceland to fully soak up the scenery. 24 hours is certainly not enough, but if that's all you've got, I suggest keeping the driving short. 
I'd savor Blue Lagoon and walk around Reykjavik. There's plenty of shopping and even art museums. And if you visit during the darker months, you can enjoy the northern lights. By the way, the next morning we start driving the famed Golden Circle, which takes us to waterfalls and just, wow, beautiful landscapes. So stay tuned for the next video. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset cold. Toodles, my noodles. Here we go! Why did it ping? It is June. It is chilly. It feels like San Francisco winter right now. So in Iceland, it is a law. We have to drive with lights on even in the daytime. So I have my light on. The first place we're gonna go to is Blue Lagoon, which is about 20 to 25 minutes from the airport. I have a little bit of anxiety, to be honest, to be driving in Iceland. There's all kinds of insurance plans, like even ash, and there's volcanoes here. So all kinds of insurance, and I'm like, do I need to get that? <laughs> like, should I be concerned? I was also told, oh, this is my first time in Iceland, so I was told that the weather changes here suddenly. Winter is probably be more harsh because that's when it snows. But I also overheard some people on the plane saying, um, in June, it snowed before when they were here, something like that in the summertime. Now leave the roundabout. So hopefully, it's not going to be snowing. Overall, I'm excited, but I also heard there's animals just randomly on the road. Please refer to the map. So you have to be really careful. Oh, I wonder what these colorful roof buildings are about. By the way, renting a car in Iceland is not the cheapest thing. You know, in Korea, when I was trying to rent a car, it was quite expensive. But my friend, uh, my cousin, she rented it for me and it was only 180,000 won, which is about 160 US. Um, but this car, for five days, it cost $600 and on top of that some extra insurance and I was like $700 oh. <laughs> All that smoky stuff, that cloud stuff is a power plant, geothermal power plant Geothermal energy was discovered So you can mix and match from any of the course items We're gonna get birch and juniper cured arctic char, lamb filet, as well as creme brulee Ooh, thank you! <laughs> This guy right here is pleasantly sweet. Also on the soft side, a little bit more chewy. That one is not as strong of an image like a massage. I think the best way to put that is carrot sausage. And it's sweet and very soft, but not mushy. I told the waiter, I really like that butter, I love it. And then he took it away, it was like one fourth still left, and he brought like a whole new set of butter for my remaining piece, my remaining slice. Before going into the lagoon, the men and women have their own uh, washrooms. We have to uh, take a shower, leave on the conditioner, and then put on your swimming suit, bring a towel, and then hop on in. We got the comfort package, and that includes a drink. Oh, I'm out of summer. And then we also get uh, the silicone face mask. Wherever that is. I'm gonna take you in the water. Oh, I'll take a photo of it. Enlarge it like 1,000 times <laughs> and hang it. I see a lot of GoPros here. Sometimes when I eat a cup of ramen or some noodles that are very warm, the steam just covers up all my glasses. It fogs up my lens. So that's what I'm constantly getting right now, minus the noodles. So there's an area people hang their robes their towels. I try not to drop anything in this water. It'll be really hard to find it because this water is quite milky. Considering how salty this water is, if you had an open cut, it would stink. There is a seagull up there.